Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Bull TV. Sorry if you had to hear a conversation there with my associate, Lucas Wiseman, but we are watching the USBC Senior Masters here, 2015 event at the yeah, Schwabenon Bowling Alley here in Green Bay. We've got just under 200 competitors this week, and we'll have them on two squads. A squad on the lanes right now. This is the first round of qualifying. We are behind lanes 33, 34, 35, and 36. And we've got nearly 200 of the best senior bowlers in the world. Looking to dethrone Hall of Famer Walter Ray Williams Jr., the 2014 champion. So we appreciate everybody stopping by. We know it's a little bit different look here. But, uh, but we are live and Got a lot of great bowlers coming to our featured pairs here over the next couple days. Again, two squads, A squad and B squad. Uh, everybody will bowl 15 games of qualifying over three days. And that's three five-game blocks. So A squad right now will bowl five games. B squad standing by. This is a fresh lane condition. We'll have more about that as the day progresses. B squad will come on and bowl on the burn, as they call it. Lanes will not be oiled for them. Uh, tomorrow they'll flip flop. B squad will come in first, bowl on the fresh, and then A squad will come in for five more games. And then on the final day, all competitors bowl on freshly oiled lanes, so the schedule will change by an hour in the morning. Otherwise, everything's the same throughout qualifying here. Again, you're watching live coverage of the 2015 USBC Senior Masters here at the uh, Schwabenon Bowling Alley in Green Bay.
power. Thanks again for joining us here. This is Matt Canizaro, and you're watching the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. And just uh, doing what we do here, bringing it to you live from the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley. Now some talented players on our featured pairs, Hall of Famers. It's like a USBC Open Championships Hall of Fame reunion right now. Jeff Riggles, five-time Eagle winner. Gus Norris and his teammate Dale Traber. Traber, a two-time winner here at the Senior Masters. So, tons of accomplishments. Of course, some new faces as well. So, a good mix of experience. And those folks want to come out and make a name for themselves. So sit tight and enjoy. Five games here for A Squad. Take a very short break and come back with B Squad. About halfway into game number one. Long qualifying format here. Uh, a change made uh, just a couple of years back. Uh, previously, everybody bought 10 games and the field was cut to the top 25%. Format here in at the Masters uh, has changed a little bit over the years. And of course now, everybody with the opportunity to uh, really get uh, their, their money's worth of the entry fee. And everybody's in it for the entire 15 games.
we have three USBC Hall of Famers on our featured pairs here. Jeff Riggles, Gus Yars, and Dale Traver. All relatively local here. All from the state of Wisconsin. Riggles from Oregon, Madison area. Traver and Yars closer to Milwaukee. So game one rolling on here at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. Yes, Schwabenon Bowling Alley here in Green Bay. This is Matt Kanazar. I'll be here all week long. And my associate Lucas Wiseman helping from afar today. He'll be in town Thursday night and he'll be ready for match play 
Friday. So an exciting week here and uh, a lot going on in Green Bay over the next couple of weeks. We'll have all that for you uh, and some more details as we get things unfolding here on this Tuesday afternoon. All right, the schedule for this week's event, again, uh, you're watching A Squad, first round of qualifying here at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. Uh, we got things kicked off at noon local time. Next squad will be on the air on the lanes at 5 p.m. local, 6 p.m. Eastern. And the schedule will be the same tomorrow for round two. Squads will flip-flop, B Squad will hit the lanes at noon here in Green Bay. And A Squad will come back at 5 p.m., 6 p.m. Eastern. And then for round three, the final five games, 11 a.m. will go one hour earlier because they need some time to re-oil in between squads. Uh, both squads will be fresh on the third day of qualifying. So 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. here in Green Bay. That's noon and 6 p.m. Eastern. Then after 15 games of qualifying, the top 63 players will join defending champion Walter Ray Williams Jr. in the double elimination match play bracket. And match play will kick off at 9 o'clock local time, 10 a.m. Eastern on Friday. So again, Lucas Wiseman will be here for the match play portion of the Senior Masters. And that will be all day Friday then into the day Saturday. Saturday night, the field will be cut down to the top five for the stepladder finals, which will take place live on Bowl TV on Sunday, August 2nd at 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, high noon. We'll get ready to crown a new champion here at the Senior Masters. So sit back and enjoy some qualifying action. Again, three Hall of Famers on our featured pairs here and some other talented players looking to step into the spotlight. We'll take a look at this year's lane condition. You can find all the details on the Senior Masters on bowl.com just go to bowl.com slash senior masters and everything you want to know about this event its history and what's happening here in 2015 all there for you oil pattern this week 40 feet a little bit higher volume at 28.715 mils Uh, 
nice colorful graft for you there on bull.com and that graph has all the details all the numbers and also using kegel ice oil laid down by the one of a kind top of the line kegel flex lane machine
All right, game one coming to a close here at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters A squad qualifying. Two time champ, Dale Traver struggling a little bit here, close to home. We can spare 510 here, he'll be at 150. Behind the pair, Steve Ferraro, 199, our other featured pair. Jeff Riggles, big finish for 226. Hildebrandt, 201. Rocious, 184. Thanks for tuning in. This is Matt Kenazar, I'll be here all week. Lucas Wiseman, headed this way for match play. Continue to enjoy qualifying. Again, five game blocks, and we'll have B Squad coming up later today.
and gentlemen, again, you're watching live coverage of the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. We're here at the Schwabanon Bowling Alley in Green Bay. Nearly 200 of the best senior players around trying to dethrone defending champion Walter Ray Williams Jr. He took home the title last year in dramatic fashion. Crumbled the bucket in the final frame to take home the victory. And he is back here, guaranteed a spot in the top 64. Uh, he is bowling qualifying though, trying to improve on that position. And then he'll join the top 63 players overall in the double elimination match play bracket later in the week if you want to check out the schedule or the lane condition or any details. You can find all that at bull.com slash senior masters. We'll have scores updated after each block and a recap at the end of the day written by yours truly. This is Matt Canizaro and I'll be here for the next couple of weeks. We've got the USBC Senior Masters, of course, followed by the Super Senior Classic, which will be followed by the USBC Senior Championships. We'll have the Masters and the Super Senior Classic here for you on Bowl TV. And recaps every day on Bowl.com, so Remember to check that out. Scores again posted at the end of each squad. Right now you're watching game two of qualifying here on the A squad. Double five games and then step aside for B squad to come in. Well, five games today. We'll do that for three days. Flip flop and squad times. Once everybody's completed 15 games of qualifying, we'll have the top 63 join Mr. Walter Ray Williams Jr. So thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to find me by email or on social media, Facebook, Matt Canizaro, USBC. You can find me on Twitter, at USBC Matt. And of course, uh, the Sport of Bowling, USBC, our main USBC Facebook page, and at USBC on Twitter. A lot of great little details going through there as well. So, if you ever want to miss a minute of the action, find us on all of those mediums and You'll be in tune with what's happening in the bowling world.
Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us today for this live coverage of the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. This is Matt Kenazar behind the scenes here at the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley in Green Bay. Nearly 200 of the best seniors vying for the 2015 title here. Ball fighting over three days. This is game number two of five on this A squad. B squad coming up next at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. Wire to wire coverage for you live here. We look forward to an exciting week. All right now we're getting down towards the end of game number two. See if we can get some updated standings throughout the day. Uh, they'll be posted on bowl.com at the end of each squad. And then we'll have a recap for you on bowl.com at the end of each day. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to find us here in the chat room. Uh, or you can reach out directly, email, text message, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we are everywhere. The Sport of Bowling, USBC on Facebook. Personally, you can find me at Matt Kenazar, USBC. Bowling writer Mark London already did, had some questions. And you can find me on Twitter, at USBC Matt. Always glad to answer questions for you as things unfold here in Green Bay. Thanks for tuning in everybody. We'll have continued coverage. Game three coming up in just a few minutes, so sit tight. Hopefully your favorite bowler will be headed this way. We are behind lanes 33 through 36 here at the Schwabenant Bowling Alley.
Game two winding down here at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters, just like that. Not a 200 game on our first featured pair here. Looks like the high is going to be a 198 M. Russo. And Mark Abraham with a nice 244 game.
get him back to plus six. Looks like. See if I can get an updated standings after game two. And get that to you here. So you know what's going on. So you don't have to wait till the end of the squad necessarily. We'll catch up with our squad leader, of course, when it's all over. And we'll have a recap for you tonight. So right now, game two is done. We'll have our bowlers moving this way for game number three in just a minute. Thanks for tuning in. Live coverage of the 2015 USBC Senior Masters with Matt Canizar. Just like that, game three underway here. Two featured pairs, 33 and 34, 35 and 36 here at the uh, Schwabenon Bowling Alley. A couple of new faces for us here uh, on our featured pairs. Uh, it does include Daryl Traber, the brother of two-time winner, USBC Hall of Famer Dale Traber. Of course, their other brother, David, Top performer in the PBA over the years. And on our right hand side here, two time senior masters champ Tom Baker, the last bowler to win back to back back in 06 and 07. Tom's still a top performer in PBA and PBA senior events. Should be a good gauge here on how things are looking on this 40 foot pattern at the 2015 event. So enjoy watching the Hall of Famer do his thing. And I'll see if I can not track down some scores and let you know what's going on. Thanks for tuning in.
Hello again everybody, this is Matt Kenazaro live here at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. And we're now watching game three of qualifying for the A squad. Things really just getting rolling here on an exciting couple of weeks in Green Bay, but I do have some standings after two games. So we'll go down through the top five or six or so. So then you know what's what, then at the end of the block, we'll have the standings up on bowl.com on the Senior Masters page. So feel free to check that out. Right now our leader by a bunch, Mark McDowell, five-time PBA champion. Uh, just hitting that 50 mark, I believe. And he's at plus 128 after two. 528, averaging 264 on this 40-foot senior master's lane condition. He's followed by Hall of Famer Pete Weber, who won this event back in 2013. Weber at plus 80 after two. Followed by Paul McCordick, the left-hander from Sugarland, Texas. His twin brother, Pete, also in the field here at the Senior Masters. Fourth place, Sam Ventura at plus 59. Sorry, McCordick at plus 62. Ventura at plus 59. Ricky Woods from White Creek, Tennessee in fifth place at plus 55 and we saw Mark Abraham earlier on our featured parachute 244 and he's at plus 50 so that got him up to plus 50. 206 the first game of course. Tenth place right now plus 31 and again we'll be bowling 15 games of qualifying over three days and then we'll cut the field to the top 63 plus defending champion Walter Ray Williams Jr. And Walter Ray bowling all 15 games, trying to improve his place in the bracket. Right now he's 50th on this squad at minus 24 after two, 188 average. Keep an eye on Walter Ray and all the other stars here. We'll catch up with our squad leader. And we're all done here with five games. Again, this is game three of five. So things moving along pretty quickly. Hour and a half. Next squad starts at 5 p.m. local time, 6 p.m. Eastern. Have a final entry count for you. See who shows up. Right now, last I heard the number was at 192. And that's split over two squads. A squad on the lanes now. B squad coming up next. And then tomorrow, the flip flop. B squad will be on the fresh. A will come in and pull on the burn. And then on day three, we'll go an hour earlier. And both squads will be on the fresh right before we make the cut to the top 64. Appreciate everybody joining us again. This is Matt Kanazar. Any questions, feel free to find me here in the chat room, via email, social media, always available and glad to help. Otherwise, enjoy the coverage and we'll have the rest of A Squad, B Squad coming up next.
Yes, he's got it down by 53 and 54. That's on her way down by you, Steve. Game three, winding down here and coming to a close. Tom Baker putting together a nice game here. Got a little bit of work to do. He is minus 32 after two in 56th place. This certainly will help. Max score of 258 still out there for the two-time champ. High in the pair by a bunch, so he's got something figured out here. Another shot 
strike for Baker on the right lane. Already in the 240s, one more. He's in the 250s and plus for the day. He's gonna make a nice jump. Should get him close to the top 15. Maybe even the top 10. James Martin from Vera Beach, Florida here on our other featured pair. Possible 226, he's already plus 24 in the 12th place, a super senior it looks like. So he's over 60. Baker, gets the nine to go late. Safely in the 250s here. Just gotta keep it on the lane. So, John Baker finishes with 258, makes a big move here. He was minus 32 now, plus 26, so he'll jump up there pretty well. And James Martin already was plus 24, adds on six more. Dennis Lane here was minus 10 coming into game number three. Just the one miscue there in the seventh frame and he's got a shot at 245. Already got the first one in the tenth, looking for number two here. Tries to wave it right and goes high. 4 seven, ten, but so a pretty solid game three for Mr. Lane. Some good bowling names here at the 2015 Senior Masters. Saw Mr. Strike earlier, and now Mr. Lane.
Dennis finishes with 231, gets him to plus 21. So he'll be up there in the top 20. And we'll get the updated scores for you as soon as they're available. And we get ready for game number four here at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. Matt Kenizaro here all week. Lucas Wiseman headed this way. Thanks for tuning in. Three games in the books. Game four coming up next. like 15 and 16 in Treasure Island.
here we are already in game number four of qualifying a squad at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters and some familiar, some familiar faces on our featured pairs here. Right now up on lane 33, Willie Wells. You might recognize him if you bowl in the USBC Open Championships. He worked in the Visionary booth for quite a few years and now in the Motive booth. He's a top contender. I've seen him before at the Super Senior Classic and probably going to see a lot of him over the next week or so here at these two great events and on our other pair PBA champion Mark Williams plus 59 according to the scoreboard we'll have the updated standings as soon as we can get those through three games again this is game four of five and I think this game might go a little bit quicker with just three on a pair Assuming the scores on the scoreboard are right. Minus 7, minus 40, minus 43, minus 40, minus 54. And then Williams at plus 59 starting with a double here. But uh, we'll get you the update as soon as we can. Appreciate everybody joining us. Again, this is game 4 of A Squad. And after this we'll take a short break and then come back for B Squad at 5 p.m. local time, 6 p.m. central. Couple big games on 35 and 36. That's our right hand pair. Just last game, two time champion here at the Senior Masters, Tom Baker had 258. Now Williams with the front three. So game four, moving along quickly here at the uh, Schwabenon Bowling Alley. This is Matt Kenazar. I'll be here all week long.
Getting ready to step up on lane 35 here at the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley. Mark Williams working on the front six. See if he can keep that streak going here in game number four of five. Waiting on some updated standings and then we'll let you know what's what. Mark McDowell the early leader after two games. But Mark Williams coming for him here. And he gets it, number seven. Mixes him up, so we'll keep an eye on him. And of course, the, the rest of our players here battling for 63 spots in the double elimination match play bracket. That'll be coming up on Friday and Saturday. And they'll join defending champion Walter Ray Williams Jr. in his quest to become the first bowler since Tom Baker in 2007 to win back-to-back -back senior Masters titles.
Mark Williams did not just throw a gutter ball in the front seven there on lane 36. He was clearing a dead wood. And he'll get ready to step up for his eighth shot here in a minute. In the meantime, Willie Wells, mentioned him earlier, putting together a, a nice game here in game number four, working on a double, looking for three in a row. On lane 33, goes high, four, six, seven. Williams leaves a 10 pin on his eighth shot, so his run at perfection here has concluded, but still a very nice game four nonetheless. One pair to our right is the defending champ, Walter Ray Williams Jr. And he just opened, still has a max score of 226 this game.
here we are wrapping things up. Willie really Wells, tough finish, 189. 168 for Paul Cuisin. And Mr. Moore will be in the 190s, 192. Other pair, Mark Williams leading the way. So that's 279 possibility. Stepping up in the 10th now. Gets the first one. Walter Ray staring down another split. One pair to our right. He picks it up and strikes out. Max score 204. Mark Williams will be in the 270s. And Mr. Click here. Ray Click with a chance at 216. Is it out just the 10 pin standing in his way in the eighth frame 279 he already according to the scoreboard was plus 59 that's unofficial we'll try to track down our squad leader here shortly of course uh, game four wrapping up across the house and game five will be coming right up here on Bull TV Appreciate everybody joining us. First round of qualifying at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. Matt Kinizaro here all week. Thanks for stopping by, giving us part of your Tuesday afternoon.
While we wait for game five to get underway, we have the updated standings after three. And 2013 champion Pete Weber has jumped to the top of the pack at plus 128, a 242 average here through three games. Mark Abraham, we saw him earlier on our featured pair. He is now at plus 103 in second place, followed by Mark McDowell, the early leader, at plus 98. Fourth place, Paul McCordick, the left-hander, plus 75. And Mark Williams, you just saw him shoot 279 here in our featured pair, was at plus 59 in fifth place, now making a huge move, giving Pete Weber a run here early in qualifying. Sixth place, Harvey Palace, plus 50. Ricky Woods in seventh at plus 46. Tim Cobble. Plus 38. Walter Ray Williams was plus 34. So he had a nice recovery in game three. He was tied with Lee Brocious at plus 34 to round out the top 10. 32nd place right now on A squad. Minus four. Three way tie there, including Hall of Famer Parker Bone, the third who won last week in Minnesota. Still a long way to go, of course. 15 games of qualifying over the three days. Right now, game number five coming up here live for you from the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley. 2015 at USBC Senior Masters coverage continuing here momentarily.
All right, game five of A squad qualifying underway here. And you're watching it live. Parker Bowen the third. Get a look at the left-hander, the Hall of Famer. Mark McDowell has been up at the top of the standings as well. He was third after three games. And we'll get the game four standings as soon as we can. week Parker Bowen the third won the Treasure Island Resort and Casino Open for his second PBA 50 title of the season looking to take home his first senior masters title again the defending champion Walter Ray Williams Jr. 2013 winner Pete Weber 2012 it was Mike Edwards Got McDowell, Parker Bowen, the big names on our feature pairs here in game at number five. Get to see it. Darwin Weimer. We saw him in the stepladder at the Super Senior Classic. guys wasting no time getting into game number five and the exciting conclusion just a few frames away game one for B squad set to be at 5 p.m. local time 6 p.m. Eastern
Halfway point, game number five on one of our pairs here. 33 and 34, cruising right along. Kenny Waters having a nice game five so far. Possibly a, a ball change for Parker here. He was messing around off camera a little bit. Parker picking up the win last week at the Treasure Island Resort and Casino Open. Where he topped Pete Weber. Pete Weber, the early leader here at the Senior Masters. So, some familiar names, of course. Walter Ray Williams, the defending champ. And Little Monticelli, Brian Voss, all in the field this week.
Kenny Waters stepping up on lane 34 right now. He's got six out of seven working on three in a row. Tenpin ends that run at three. Going to the scoreboard, he is minus 77 after four games. I'm gonna go see if I can track down a four game standing sheet and get you the update as we head into the final frames here. This opening squad of qualifying here at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. Thanks for joining us. Folks, we've got standings through four games here at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters. Pete Weber still hanging on to the lead early. He is at plus 149. Mark Williams not far behind at plus 138. Mark McDowell had a big game four. He is at plus 133. Keep an eye on him, not doing so hot here in the finale on our featured pair. Ricky Woods in fourth at plus 103. Mark Abraham fifth at plus 91. Right now, 32nd place, minus 19. And our defending champ, Walter A. Williams Jr. in 12th at plus 36. See if I can catch up with the other guys on our live scoring. Hard to tell where everybody is. It is a 60 lane center and using just about every bit of it here for this Senior Masters event.
10th frame happening right here on 33 and 34. A couple of decent games unfolding. Kenny Waters trying to get into the 250s. And he'll need every bit of it. Williams down on 45 and 46. He's going to lose a couple sticks this game. Max score 198 for him. Trying to find Pete Weber on the live scoring right now. 257 for Kenny Waters here on our featured pair. So it looks like more than likely our A squad leader is going to be Pete Weber. He won this event back in 2013. We'll keep tabs on him and make sure he doesn't get away, get a couple thoughts. He's bowling a great game right now in lanes 49 and 50. So it's 248 out there and already plus 149. Right now Mark McDowell just trying to get back on track here in our featured pair. Parker Bone as well. Dowell third at plus 133. Big double there for him. Still shoot 212. Pick up a few pins on Mark Williams.
All right, so our final shot here on 33 and 34. Palace was up in the standings at plus 66. He loses one pin, finishes at plus 65. Kenny Waters jumps all the way to minus 20. Should be close to the top 40 at this point. And we'll have the rest of the folks finish it up here on our other pair momentarily. So final couple shots coming up here. Mark McDowell's going to bowl his ninth frame. Looking for three in a row. Needing to finish strong here to stay at the top of the standings. Pete Weber is going to be the leader after this opening round. McDowell's going to be close behind with shots like that. Bagger for Joyner. Trying to make a move here and stay around that. Again, 32nd place after four games, minus 19. And after 15 games of qualifying over three days, we will take the top 63 plus defending champion Walter Ray Williams Jr. into the double elimination match play bracket. So this event, of course, the goal is to get there and then it all starts over, almost like two separate tournaments because pins go away, and then it's just head-to-head -head three game matches. And it's just you and your opponent on that pair of lanes. Doesn't matter what anybody else in the house is doing at that point. You're bowling each other. Three game total determines who will win. And we'll do that all the way down to the final five. And then we'll hit the step ladder. And we'll have that all for you live on August 2nd. Underway, Weimer. Looks like he is minus seven after four. 27th place. And one more strike here puts him around the 230s. Light mixer.
So like Weber finished third at this year's USBC Masters right here at the Ashwaubenon Bowling Alley. So clearly he is comfortable with this bowling center. And he's going to be here for a long week. Well on his way. 233 for Weimer. He gets into the plus. 225 for Joyner. Make up some ground there. McDowell still striking. Four in a row. 212 max score, so should pick up another few pins here. Not enough to catch Weber, but definitely enough to feel comfortable going into day number two. These guys will be back on the lanes tomorrow at 5 p.m. local time, 6 p.m. Eastern. B squad will be coming up in about two hours, 5 p.m. here in Green Bay. Five more games. And then B squad will be back early tomorrow, bowling at noon. Of course, wire to wire coverage here on Bowl TV. Final couple shots coming up. Nine pin doesn't cooperate for McDowell. Parker Bone trying to save things here with a double in the tenth. Flat seven for him. Best he can get to is 182. Two more shots and then we will shut things down here. Dow finishes with 201, goes to plus 134. And Parker Bone to third, 182, goes to minus 41. Joiner minus 64, and Weimer plus 26 now. And that's going to do it. For our opening round of qualifying here at the 2015 USBC Senior Masters, thanks for joining us. My name is Matt Kenizar. I'll be here all week long. We'll have B Squad coming up for five games at 5 p.m. local time, 6 p.m. Eastern. That's the news for now. We'll see you on the lanes.